The last of the big three math techniques is called guesstimate. Guesstimate is one of those techniques that most students dismiss, but in reality, it's something that we use most of our daily lives. If you were trying to figure out how long it might take you to go from, say, your house to the store, you wouldn't necessarily literally measure the distance from your house to the store, figure out your average speed, and then come up with an equation to express the two and solve for the time. What you might do is say, well, it's probably about 15 minutes. It's not because you're crazy, it's because you have some experience with the world around you. Guestimate is drawing on those skills. Let's see it in action. In the figure above, C is equal to five less than twice B. What is the value of A plus B? This is a question that is designed to be solved with algebra. Take a look at it. It's question number 19. The questions go in increasing difficulty. Situational awareness should make us realize that 19 out of 20 is supposed to be one of the hardest questions on the test. That's because what is being anticipated for a student to do here is to try and relate A, B, and C in a series of equations. For instance, C is equal to 5 less than twice B, so C equals 2B minus 5. If you were solving for the angle next to it, you'd have to come up with 180 degrees in a straight line minus the quantity 2B minus 5. And then if you want to have the other missing angle, you'd have to have 180 degrees in a triangle minus the B up at the top minus the 180 minus the quantity. You get the picture. It's a difficult problem with algebra. What Gestimate tells us, however, is that if a problem comes with a figure and that figure doesn't have a note underneath that says, note, figure not drawn to scale, which literally means, note, we are lying. What you want to think to yourself is that you can actually use your eyeballs to come up with a legitimate estimate or a guesstimate of the answer. Take a look at angle A. If we're looking at angle A, we can see that it's blatantly more than 90 degrees. If it's more than 90 degrees, how much more is it? Is it all the way over to 180 degrees? No. Somewhere in between 90 and 180. A reasonable guesstimate might be about 130 degrees. But there isn't anyone that believes that it's got to be 90 or less. So A and B are impossible answers. Being able to eliminate A and B because they can't legitimately be possible makes our life a lot easier. If we say that A is about 130, let's take a look at angle B. Angle B, well, it's definitely less than 90. But if we were to try and draw in a straight line and come up with how much less than 90 it might be, we might reasonably be able to come up with the fact that it's 60. But let's say we drew nothing at all. Take a look at your triangle. The triangle looks roughly equilateral. Equilateral triangles have 60 degrees on each angle. Now, we're not trying to be exact here. We're coming up with a guesstimate. But if A is going to be 130 degrees and B is going to be about 60 degrees, well, what's the value of A plus B? 130 plus 60. That's 190 degrees. Which of these answer choices is even close to 190 degrees? It's going to be E.